On today's show, we find out why UVic scientists are paying such close attention to the bullfrog. And Dan Kahn talks to the brave men who went on a hunger strike to raise awareness about violence against Aboriginal women. All that and much more on Go Island. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Hello, thank you so much for joining us on Go Island. I know, I'm once again at one of my favorite places in the world, the Victoria Public Market at the Hudson. But here's the thing, a brand new butcher shop just opened. Yes. It is the first farmer-owned butcher shop in British Columbia. And yes, I had to come and visit them. I couldn't help myself. So, Logan, thank yes. you so much for joining us yeah, here at the Victoria thanks, Public thanks Market. It's great. <laughs> you have just opened up, but this has been a project in the making for many years. Yeah. Tell us your story. For sure. I guess it all probably started about eight years ago when uh, when my dad retired. Um, he was a, uh, a uh, police officer in Victoria and uh, retired and, and bought some property up in the Qualicum Beach area. Uh, so he started farming up there, just kind of needed something to do. He wasn't quite ready to, you know, sit down and you know, travel around or whatever. Uh, so he started doing this farming thing and um, kind of started off small, you know, a few sheep, a few pigs. Uh, and it's eventually grown into what you see here. So uh, along the way, we, we started making sausages in our, in our kitchen. Um, we kind of evolved from there. We started selling at farmer's markets in Qualicum Beach, uh, in Nanaimo, and Duncan. Uh, I did one out on the peninsula this summer, and uh, this is kind of the evolution of it uh, for us here. Is this, is, this is what it's brought us. <laughs> and what I love is your philosophy is so perfectly in tune with what the Victoria Public Market is all about. Tell us what your, what your philosophy, your ethics and your philosophy is. Definitely. For, the first thing for me is what I always say is happy, healthy animals. So, um, you know, all the animals on our farm uh, can go out and roam around, uh, live the proper way. Uh, we don't use any antibiotics, hormones, any of that kind of stuff. Um, we've got GMO-free feed for our wow. chicken. Uh, and, you know, it's a family operation. We see them basically from, from start to finish. It's uh, actually sometimes a little hard to see the, the figs that you've seen uh, yeah. go, up, uh, go off. But, um, you know, in the end, I feel good about what we're giving people, and that kind of makes it worth it in the end, I would say. I know when I read uh, Michael Pollan's The Carnivore's Dilemma, it was absolutely life-changing for me. The idea that you ask your farmer questions, yeah, yeah. Uh, find out how how the chicken and the pig and the cow are sure. treated, yeah. and how often does your farmer also happen to be your butcher? <laughs> well, apparently in British Columbia, it doesn't happen all that often. So what a gift we have here. Yeah. Uh, we're going to step behind the counter and find out some of the cool things they have here. Uh, and I am so excited because uh, they just opened up and it's just, I've been aching for you guys to go up. So we're going to go behind the counter in just a moment. Uh, but first, did you know that the bullfrog genetically is very similar to the human? Well, the University of Victoria knows this all too well. In fact, they're researching the bullfrog right now. Meg Cuthbert dropped by to find out what they're up to. Thanks for that story, Meg. Now, do you have uh, do you have frogs legs here at the butcher nope, shop? No frogs legs yet. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah. We'll, Ravenstone. We'll, we'll send Josh out to grab some tonight. Maybe. Yeah, Josh, get some frog legs here, Ravenstone. <laughs> hey. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Uh, we are here at Ravenstone, the new butcher shop that is just open here at the Victoria Public Market, the only butcher shop in British Columbia that are at, that's actually owned by the farmer, which is just extraordinary. Oh yeah, it's fantastic. So what you got here for us? I've got some spicy Sicilian uh, pork sausage. So we've got a little bit of red wine, some chili uh, pepper, and a blend of spices that I can't tell you, or my chef would kill me. Absolutely, we don't want to. No one, no one should be killed or injured in yes, the shooting yes, of Go exactly. Island. So what you gonna do here? I'm gonna uh, link uh, these up, which is. Uh, Kind of a kind of a joke around the farm. It's um, when you first come to work for the farm, the, your first job you get is basically linking the sausages. <laughs> Uh, and I, uh, I struggled at, at the start of it. Uh, it's not as easy as it looks. Really? Uh, we hand link everything, uh, and so I think, no uh, bias involved here, I think that I'm the best linker on the farm. All right, show, show us how it's go. done. So, yeah. Start off now. The key, you got to get them, get them pinched. Okay. Yeah. Give them a little rotate. 
move on to the next one. Pinch them up, stuff them up, rotate the opposite way. Now, do you link with love? I do link with love. You know, one of the reasons Artisan is in our name is uh, so we can get away with the odd, you know, different size sausage or or, uh, or whatnot. That's kind of another joke around the farm as we call ourselves Artisan Meats because, you know, if you do one a little bit shorter, you know. Exactly. Oh, oh, it's it's, artisan, it's right? art. Oh, every, every link is different yes, and original. Yes, yeah. I love it. Yeah. Well, I'm, I, I, it smells amazing. I'm going to have to come by and uh, and buy some of these for dinner. These are fantastic. These are great in a pasta. I love uh, cutting them out of the skins. Actually, I've after I've gone and done all this work and, uh, and sauteing them up in the past, it's just unreal. Ah, yeah. I'm convinced. I'm drooling right now. Yeah. Now, violence against women affect women of all ages and races, but did you know that Aboriginal women are 3.5 times more likely to have violence against them? Well, there are a group of men that are having a one-day hunger strike to bring awareness to this very issue. Dan Kahn checks it out. Thanks for that story, Dan Kahn. We're here at the Victoria Public Market at the Hudson, and Ravenstone Farm just opened. I'm telling you, I can still smell the paint. <laughs> you guys really are doing something original. First farmers to actually own a butcher shop in British Columbia. Uh, tell us what you have in front of us here. So right here, I've got a uh, Berkshire uh, pork uh, loin. Uh, so basically, we make our, uh, our world-famous um, thick-cut pork chops out of, out of this. Okay. So what makes them world famous? Well, you know, uh, basically it's probably in my own head, but... Uh, I'm okay you know, with that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one of the things with Berkshire pork, it's a heritage breed, so it's really uh, well known for its marbling. Um, so mm. I like to say um, we, we cook them with a, what we do when I'm uh, suggesting for people to eat them, is put them in an apple cider brine for a couple hours before, get a uh, nice skillet on your uh, oven, nice and hot, and then just keep flipping them, cooking them like that, they'll turn out just magnificent. Is it fun for you to work with other farm fresh food people? Yeah, you know what it really is, and I've always seen this Victoria Public Market as kind of a continuation of our farmers markets mm. that we started at and have had so much fun at. Um, as I was saying earlier, I did the uh, the Peninsula Market out on the Sandwich Fairgrounds all last summer, and I had an absolute blast. Uh, that Saturday morning for me, you know, sitting on the tailgate of the truck, selling out of a freezer, it was fantastic, I had a blast. Uh, and this for me now is, is just kind of the evolution of it. I can do it every day. Uh, we've got lots of great local vendors around um, like you say you know get some cheese from down the way get yeah. some, uh, some vinegar from all of the senses nice sandwich from roast you know um, you know some seafood from couch and seafood it's fantastic yeah absolutely uh, yeah. now um, yeah, let me go ahead and go ahead and show out. show how it's done so we've already got it uh, started through the bone there we have to take a very short break but please don't go anywhere why because we're gonna do um, some more cool stuff right here at the Victoria Public Market and this week in BC looks at the hottest topics in politics so stick around so funky here at Ravenstone. I just love the vibe here. It's uh, it's decorated with such farm inspired items like yes. the chairs and the lights. Yeah. Obviously intended Mr. Farmer. Yes that's true. I got to put in a plug for my father-in-law here. He's the woodworker so uh, this all this beautiful wood was him. Very cool this part. They have a cabin on Ruxton Island. Uh, this is from his uh, property on Ruxton Island. He built it up himself. Nice live edge. So there's a, there's a plug for the father-in-law. I'll keep you in the good graces there. I, oh, I'm here to help. I'm here to help. Now, tell us a little bit about your chicken and what you guys have going on here. Yeah, for sure. So a chicken is another product we're really, really proud of. Um, you know, free-range chicken, GMO-free feed. It takes a lot of work to get it out. And, um, you know, it is fantastic. It doesn't shrink down when you cook it. Those chicken breasts right there, for instance, will stay the same size. After wow. Um, you know, we, we do whole roasting chickens, which I'll show you one here. Show me one. Yeah. Look at that. Fantastic for a Sunday dinner. Uh, you get leftovers, you make some sandwiches for the rest of the week. Those are just, just unreal. I love it. Now, we all ache for a bacon. Tell us about the bacon you guys have here. Bacon, yes, that's uh, is our whiskey smoked bacon. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we do is we take old uh, Jack Daniel, Daniel's uh, whiskey barrel, which I'm seeing one of them up there. Oh my gosh. Uh, chip it up, uh, light those uh, chips on fire, and that's what gives it the kind of the light whiskey smoke. 
Again, another thing with the bacon, we leave the rind on, gives it a little bit more flavor. Uh, and another thing with the bacon, you get that in the pan, it basically stays the same size for you. Oh so my you word. You get there, yeah. Ah, oh, so many good tricks here. Yeah. And the great thing is you can talk to the farmers about what you're buying because they have grown everything that they sell. Um, we have to take a very short break, but when we come back, we're going to be profiling one of our Olympic hopefuls, uh, Caitlin Osman, a figure skater, and more right here at the Victoria Public Market. I'm addicted to watching figure skating. I'm telling you, the Winter Olympics, uh, my TV viewing has gone up by uh, about 100 hours a week. Yeah. Love our figure skaters. I'm so proud of our, our Olympians. We've just rocked it. I know, go Canada, go. I'm telling you. Well, we've had so much fun here today at uh, Ravenstone Farm, the newest place to open here at the public market. Uh, the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, it's all here, but it's nice to have a butcher where everything uh, is ethically grown, hormone-free. Um, let's talk too about you guys are hoping to be uh, be a place to come and have a little lunch. For sure, yeah, yeah. We've uh, that's my background is restaurants, so of course we're gonna add a little lunch to that. Uh, we're thinking a uh, sausage sandwich, kind of bon me style. Ooh. So we'll uh, we'll use our own uh, pork and chicken sausage, of course. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, and we'll also have kind of a, uh, a pickled vegetable and a nice sweet uh, kind of mayonnaise base, a nice crisp bun. Uh, it's gonna be fantastic. We'll probably do some deli sandwiches and stuff too. That you can just pick up quick and then take back to the office or or uh, have uh, for lunch that way so oh my gosh just another reason to come down to the market and of course it's so fun to come down here because you can talk to these guys about all the different sausages the way they cure things the way they make things so what am i going to try here so you're eating a uh, smoked mennonite pork sausage so a real simple recipe just salt and pepper a few herbs and spices got our whiskey smoke on there of course awesome yeah, i am going to try it out i want to thank you so much for everything you're thank doing you. i know that it takes a tremendous amount of work and heart yeah. to, to do what you're doing yeah. but it makes a big difference uh, in our health it makes a big difference in our, sure. our agriculture yeah. and our province so thank you thank and you. I want to thank you for watching if you have any ideas for us Facebook Twitter email us or if you see me eating at the public market say hello <laughs> mm -mm. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Women's clothing provided by Tulip Noir. Casual designer fashions. Men's wardrobe by DG Bremner & Co. Menswear and accessories. Hair services provided by Salon J.